Hello and welcome back. The last time around I was showing off um, these PCB boards that I had made um, by JLC PCB and I got around to having a close look at them and um, I was really happy with the quality, with the finish. Um, everything turned out exactly the way I wanted it and the way it was in the Gerber files that I created. So that was really nice. I did go ahead and I built boards. So this is what the finished controllers look like. And um, I'm also very happy with the way um, that I'm able to work with these boards. Uh, everything worked really smooth. I picked um, the, uh, the leaded finish for the uh, for the contacts and pins because it is just easier to work with them. Um, you can pick another, so that's up to whomever does the ordering. I also did this one. Uh, I've already tried them out, so it still supports three steppers and one servo. Um, the only thing that disappeared from this board is the control pin for the laser because on that board the implementation that I picked was not really optimal. Um, the controllers for uh, the pins for the fans are still there. Everything is just the way it was before. The only thing that is different is if you want to use a laser with this setup, um, you should reuse the servo pin. Um, that's the only change. And uh, it's really nice the way it turned out. Um, everything was absolutely perfect. So I was really impressed and happy with it. Um, I already, already talked about the third board that I want to make, um, but that one hasn't made it here yet. And I do have the plans for this one here. Um, it is basically the same as this one here, um, with the ULM drivers, with the Darlington drivers, but I did a lot of changes to the designs, how I used the pins, because I didn't realize it when I was doing this board that I was basically uh, using pins that were better used for something else. So the updated ver version of this, which, which will unfortunately be for now incompatible with the software that's out there, um, has a few changes. For example, it has a dedicated server port, it has a dedicated port for the laser or a motor or a spindle, it has an input for uh, sensors, it has an output and input for the, for the uh, COM port from the Arduino, if you want to connect it to something else. Um, it has I2C. Um, I should have done I2C a lot sooner. I didn't realize that. Because suppose you don't want to use this for, for a plotter or a small CNC, but you want to use the board um, for a gimbal control. Um, then you need I2C. And unfortunately, with this board, all the I2C ports were already taken. That was kind of um, unfortunate. So all of these shortcomings that I had that were there before, I fixed them with this board. Also, I removed the output for the, uh, for the fans and added a single output that could um, be used to control a 12 volt laser or a motor uh, that would be able to output up to one amp. So, a lot of small changes that may make this board a lot more usable and a lot more reusable for different uh, projects. And uh, this one's already been produced, it's on its way here. I'm basically waiting for it uh, day by day. And uh, I'm really, I'm kind of giddy getting to work with that one because this will have so much more potential and it will be a lot smaller than uh, both of these boards. I have begun working on an updated version of this board um, that will also have the pins reassigned so I can have uh, more features on the outside. 
um, like I square C, um, maybe uh, maybe even enough to drive a simple 3D printer. And uh, when I'm done with that, let's see where it goes. I'm going to try it out, and uh, if it works out, I'll also put it online. That's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching, and bye bye.